Oh, great question from Morgan. What is passive PoE? Uh, okay, so passive PoE uh, isn't typically used that much anymore. It used to be used more in like the wireless ISP space. Essentially with um, what we know as PoE now, which is the RFC standard 802.3 AF or 802.3 AT for PoE plus or 802.3 BT for PoE plus um, plus. Those are essentially protocols that can negotiate the amount of PoE power that a, that a device needs, right? So if you take a device that doesn't have PoE and you plug it into that port, there's no negotiation that happens and it doesn't provide any power. If you plug a device in that needs PoE, it communicates with the switch and says, hey, this is the type of PoE I need, this is how much you know, uh, wattage I need, et cetera, et cetera, and then the port responds accordingly and adjusts accordingly. With passive PoE, there is no such negotiation. The voltage is always running down the line. Okay, so for example, if you had like a device for testing, you know, Ethernet connectivity, and you plugged it into a passive PoE port, it might just fry that device. All right, so Morgan says, in what instance would you use a passive PoE port? There are a number of devices, typically these are gonna be older devices, um, that require passive PoE, right? So before the PoE standard, this is kind of how you did it. So it's sort of an older technology. Mostly it's like the WISP or the wireless ISP antennas uh, for like point to point, point to multipoint. That's typically where I used to see passive PoE. And they used to even have switches. So there was like the US8 150 watt switch. It was a great little switch that Ubiquiti had. They had it forever. Uh, and it, had the ability to choose on a per port basis whether you wanted uh, PoE or 24 volt passive uh, output out of each individual port. And I used to love that switch. 